You are now listening to the Highly Evolved Podcast with your host, Safan. Transmission will commence momentarily. Hi, you guys doing? My name is Safan. This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. You can follow me on Twitter and Gab.ai. Before we start, a little discretion. If you're a social justice warrior, liberal, socialist, democrat, Marxist, cultural Marxist, please leave the channel. You won't like what I have to say. On that note, let's start the show. You know... When Donald Trump went, ran his campaign, he said you'll be you you will win so much that you'll get tired of winning, and then you can people can keep winning and winning, 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 winning. Well, today he won again. Okay, it's, I want to share this article that I just stumbled upon about him in the Ninth Circuit. Right, the article is titled Ninth Circuit Deal: Trump and Immigration Win." Yes, you read this right. Okay, let's start the article. The Ninth. The, the, okay. the U.S. Ninth District Court of Appeal temporarily lifted an order suspending the Migrant Protection Protocol, MPP, a Trump administration policy that required Central American asylum seekers to remain in Mexico before their appearance in immigration court. Today, the Friday evening stay is not indica- indicative of of the government future prospect in his case. It was a rare victory for an administrative that has often struggled before the left-leaning courts. And the Ninth Circuit Court is very left-leaning. Okay? Just ma- let you guys hear that, all right? Furthermore, all right? Let's continue. Furthermore, here's the ultimate gift. No, that's something else. Yeah, yeah, that's the ultimate gift from the Ninth District Court. <laughs> okay, quote, finally, great news for the border, President Donald Trump tweeted Friday night. Former Homeland Security Secretary Christian Nielsen began implementing the MPP in December 2018 following negotiation with the Mexican government. The government claimed the program was authorized by a provision of federal law allowing the Attorney General to return alien arriving from neighboring countries. The provision provides, quote, in the case of an alien who is arriving on land from a foreign territory contagious to the United States, the Attorney General may return the alien to that territory pending further proceeding before an immigration judge. A coalition of immigrants advocacy group sued arguing that MPP deprived migrants of a meeting opportunity for seeking asylum since they are returning to a violent area without resources and fully prepared the case. You know what? That's not none of our problems. We're not entitled to help them, right? And they're not American citizens. All right, they're not American citizens, so why, how are we obligated to help them? I don't understand that. And they're breaking the law. They're technically they're considered criminals because they broke the law. So why are we entitled to help them, right? Okay. Related to federal judge compared Trump to George Wallace a KKK stunning speech. That's some stupid remark right there from a judge. Okay, let's continue. U.S. District Judge Richard Seberg agreed and s- issued a preliminary injunction against the government on Monday. He also found a government may have violated the Administrative Procedure Act, MPA, uh, APA, which set standards for the ensued of new for the ensuance of a new government rules. The injunction which applied across the entire nation, was set to take effect Friday night. U.S. Border Patrol agents provide food, water, medical screening to, sc- to score of immigrants at a processing center after crossing the international borders between United States and Mexico on March 22, 2019 in El Paso, Texas. Okay. Furthermore, U.S. Border Patrol agents provide food, water, and medical screening to score the immigrants at the proceeding center across the international borders between... All right, I read that. 
Yeah, I read that. In its emergency motion for a stay of Seabird orders, the government emphasized that the MPP is a lawful component of the new security. Foreign policy strategy assembled in a view of escalating crisis in the southern borders. The Ninth District Circuit temporary stay will remain in effect for a matter of days, pending full resolution for government motions. The administrative hope that migrants protection protocol will deter uh, meritless asylum seekers while clearing a background, a backing of, let's see, asylum applicants that is approaching one, that is approaching one. All right. Basically, uh, you can read this article. I'll leave it in the description. All right. Basically, this article is saying that any asylum seeking people, right, have to go back to Mexico, right? Single individual. If they seek an asylum with no kids or minors, they're going back to Mexico, first class, all right? Not first class, coach class, all right? <laughs> coach class. So the only people that's exempt from this is people that have children, right? Which is still BS. But um, at least the, the, the people who seek an asylum, who's individual, they're going back to Mexico. All right, they're not staying here anymore. And that's a one win for Donald Trump. Okay? That's a win. The reason why the 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 family unit has to stay because of the Flores Act, which means we, we can only detain them for 20 days and let them go. Which Donald Trump already made a opinion about that he wanted to send it to sanctuary states and I'm I'm all for it. I'm from a sanctuary states. And these people in the sanctuary states need to learn the hard way. All right, these hypocrites. Just send them to sanctuary states and see how they like it, and see and when and let's wait until they whine about it. All right, they have to take. They need to taste of their own medicine. But anyway, this this um, ninth circuit ninth circuit ruling just said that we could send them back to Mexico, this individual asylum seekers, and that's a win, right? We don't need any more of them. Just keep them out. Let's keep them out. We don't need any of these any of these BS. And that's a rare thing that happened for the Ninth Circuit. The Ninth Circuit Court is very liberal. All right. There are a bunch of Obama appointees that was appointed by Obama. How redundant is that? But anyway, and this is a rare win. All right. We're gonna keep on winning, 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 winning. And we're gonna win so much, like Donald Trump said, that you're gonna get tired of winning and we're gonna back to stop and he's gonna say, No, we gotta keep on winning, winning. All right, and we're winning big time. All right, Donald Trump already showed the hypocrisy of the Democratic Party by by saying that we're gonna dump all these illegal aliens into um, sanctuary cities, and then they come out and they're all oh, they, that's that's that you can't do that. That's a you can't use immigrants as pawns. Well, you're the one you're the one who wants to bring them in with open arms. How come all of a sudden you guys don't want them, huh? I said build a tent city in front of Nancy Pelosi house. Or built a tent city in front of the the governor mansion in California. All right, built a tent city right there. See how Gavin Newsom will like that. All right, built all these cities in. Go to Beverly Hills and dump a bunch of Me not Mexican <laughs> illegal immigrants. Well, they're, they're most of them are illegal too. But uh, dump them right in Beverly Hills, Brentwood. All right, all these high class cities, dump them there. See how would they like it? All right. I say go for it. I'm supportive of this. And this is a win. I just read this article. I didn't know it until I saw it on the, I think, the Daily Caller. But um, I'll leave the article for you guys to read. If you guys want to read, go in further detail about this. But this is a great news for the Trump administration and immigration. And and there's not going to be any holdbacks anymore because... I think people people are beginning to see that there is a crisis. The media already come out and say that there is a crisis. They are admit it. At first, they don't want to admit it, right? And then that they have to admit it. See how hypocritical this is? If you listen to the media, you are, you are, you can't think for yourself, right? You're supposed to listen to multiple sources and graph your own, make your own ideas, right? But don't take it from me. Go read the article. I'm gonna post it in the description below. All right? This is a win-win situation for us. All right, but let me know what you think. You think this is a good thing? You think we should send them more back over there? Should you? Do you think that we should not accept any more? Because the country is full, like Donald Trump said. All right, 
Uh, let me know if you agree. I'm not sponsored by anybody. You su support me by following me on social media. Hit subscribe because I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm not held against by anybody. So I'm unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. That means I'm saying everything from my, from my mind for, to, for you guys to hear. All right. So on that on that note, this is the Heidi Ball Podcast. Um, my name is Fawn. Thanks for listening and signing out.